Good morning everyone, Jakub Brahimov here from A to Z Markets with yet another crypto overview day. And today, well market is going up bullish bullish, well at least for one hour that it was. And suddenly I don't hear anyone really saying that market is crashing. However, I have some good and some bad news for you. I'll talk about it in just a second, however, if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, press that subscribe button, press that small bell button and please do press and smash that like button and share my videos. The more you share, the more we can reach out, the more impact we can have and the more motivated I am to share more. Well, today I have only three cryptos that I'm going to be analyzing and sharing my personal trading desk to you and with you. So let's go ahead and start it. What's happening really with the market? Well, Bitmex, which is a leveraged crypto exchange, basically went on maintenance mode. And guess what? Within that line, uh, the market really jumped up. Some $12 billion market cap uh, base, uh, basically rose. So crypto market uh, overall rose. Bitcoin, of course, hit above. It hit almost my first target uh, and then, well, a little retrace back and it was the first target well it was just around 70 dollar difference between my target and the 50 moving average on daily time frame so it just bounced off the 50 moving average not reaching to to the the resistance target that i shared yesterday so nonetheless that's another that's a good news for the time being uh, another crypto news for the time being is coinbase which is a us based uh, exchange is, uh, has announced that they are focusing on institutional financial products so let's see how, how they're going to be uh, re really utilizing it and how is it going to be having an impact on Coinbase and of course the crypto market overall so that's not really a bad news so far well let's continue overall speaking WeChat here is a somewhat a negative view because I have been expecting China to go and change their opinion about their ban on ICOs and cryptos but uh, here is something uh, a WeChat official has uh, commented that some public accounts has been suspended uh, based on publication of initial coin offering and uh, crypto uh, trading type uh, that's violation of services interim provision on the development of public information services for instant messaging tool terms so the official said that official orders has been given to block all content and permanently I want to repeat permanently block the relevant accounts so that's rather negative news for the crypto market for the fact that China has a massive population and here is something Chinese do love to trade so we really wish and hope that very soon China will change their opinion however you know being open is not really something quite communist right so China I am not sure how fast they will go ahead and change their opinion on it so here is another good news however well got not really good news but projection Pantera Capital uh, Miko uh, I believe he is also from uh, Pantera uh, they have made an announcement that their projection for 2019 for Bitcoin is 67,500 so it's 10x pretty much from where we are right now. I really hope Pantera go right, but uh, we will we will see it. Only time can can show it. Uh, another time uh, or another news for the for today is OKEx announcing that they will be joining the Glass. Glass is global liquidity and settlement system developed by Sharepost. Basically, it is a, it is a security token uh, union or um, or system in a way so let's see how it is going to have an impact on OKEX, OKEX. Um, let's move on so I want to repeat again if you haven't subscribed my YouTube press that subscribe button now it is essential for me to see that you know you are enjoying it and you are seeing my video the second it's being published uh, let's move on to, to technical analysis side so from the technical analysis perspective, the current price for Bitcoin stands at 6680 and the resistance is, I want to still keep my opinion as I said yesterday, 6970, nothing has really changed, 
and if that level is broken above, we will be seeing 7,210 and 7,500, so 7,210 and 7,500. Support meanwhile, still unchanged from yesterday, stays at 6,270 and 5,975. However, iCoin sentiment, iCoinSentiment.com, you can go ahead and check it. The sentiment for Bitcoin has changed from neutral to, to bullish, so that's a good news overall speaking. Ether, meanwhile, uh, has, has pretty much unchanged price compared to my analysis yesterday. We, when we were making the analysis yesterday, we had 280. Right now, we have 284. Resistance unchanged, 315. Following targets for bullish side is 363 and 420 and from there onwards I have bearish opinion by the way and support resembles and resists at $250 uh, meanwhile if we do see for any reason a break below 250 pretty much the, the earth will break in half and it will be collapsing towards 181 and iCoin sentiment has changed it is sentiment from uh, strong bearish to neutral for ether so let's see how it is going to be going forward i have looked into a different currency for today and that is eos eos current price is five dollar five cent and resistance stands at five dollar fifty five cent and support is at four dollar thirty five a break below four dollar sixty is likely to break or to bring eos down to three dollar forty uh, and a break above $5.60 is likely to bring EOS upwards towards $6.65 and $8.45. That's something from the technical perspective. Now, today I want to share my three opinions what is going to happen for the Bitcoin market. But that's going to be in my immediate consecutive video. So subscribe my YouTube channel and I'll see you very soon. Press that uh, like button as well and write me your comments. So, Bitcoin we trust. I'll see you in my next video.